Well, Pat, we always know that it is hot when it comes to be fair time, but yeah. if it stays like this, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. In fact, the first two days of the fair are just going to be beautiful in the 70s with relatively low humidity. I was down in Mississippi over the weekend for a niece uh, starting school down there, and we had dew points over the weekend in the upper 70s with the air temperature of 95. Now that's hot and humid. Nothing like this today. 80 uh, with uh, 55 on that dew point right now. You can see a falling barometer. South Southwest breeze, uh, just a breeze that's happening right now. So nice and comfortable. 80 off uh, to the north, as you can see, up at uh, Bemidji. A little bit warmer over here, as you can see, towards Orton Villains. Uh, the origination of some of the warmer air that pops in tomorrow and the instability along with that as these uh, dew points begin to change and creep up just a bit. Uh, putting that on the map, you can see in the mid-60s now. So all the way off to the west of us, we have this more moist, the humid air mass coming our direction. Even though currently we're at 55, that's going to be changing, and that will help fuel uh, the thunderstorm development that we see along the lines tomorrow. It looks like any time between noon and three o'clock as we'll be uh, taking a look at. So seasonal for tonight, uh, there'll be some storms firing up along I-90. We'll point that out with uh, 65, the overnight low. Not quite as refreshing as it was last night, throwing open the windows and letting all that nice, cool, dry air back in. Storms on tap for tomorrow with 82 degrees, and you can see uh, the timing once again, anytime after lunch into the mid-afternoon uh, as we see these storms roll on through. See what uh, Microcast has in store, and you can see the cloud cover starts to to thicken up. This gets you to about midnight, more instability off to the southwest and even up to the north, a line of some storms firing up by early morning tomorrow. Should be quiet for that morning commute around the Twin Cities, but then we get on into the afternoon. Mid-morning, you see a much more uh, organized development of storms in the northwest corner of the state, uh, Bemidji all the way up towards International Falls. This takes you into afternoon. This is noon, and so storms just north of the metro, and you can see uh, going uh, all the way through that cloud cover and storming uh, then all the way into the mid afternoon as these roll on through. They'll be pretty short lived. It looks like right now as these uh, storms make their way on through. So a little bit uh, warmer for tomorrow. Uh, a lot more cloud cover, of course, with those storms uh, coming at us. Look ahead and here's what's uh, for ahead for us. Uh, very nice on Wednesday with 76 and low humidity. Same story for the start of the fair. Uh, 76 uh, with those dew points in the comfortable 50s. Same story on Friday in the mid 70s isolated storms on tap for Saturday with 80 degrees and a little bit warmer and a little more humid as well uh, as we uh, approach Sunday with the mid 80s and early into Monday of next week's with the mid 80s. There you have it. I love it. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Pat.